Eric Rudolph, uh, so far so good this weekend. Fastest in the first practice session and uh, I believe third quickest after uh, time trials. Uh, what's made you adapt to the Lime Rock so quickly? Uh, lucky enough, I was, uh, I was able to come down here and test a couple times before we came here today. I think that really helped out. And also I got an excellent uh, guy working on the counter that knew what we had to do to uh, make the car go fast and his name is Phil Moran, he really helped us out. Of course Phil has a lot of experience in modifieds and do you think that uh, that just makes the transition to this place easier? You can just focus on learning the course and, and know the setup and the car is going to be right? Uh, really, the setup wasn't, I mean dead on, but it was real close because you know the modifieds have never been here so it'd be real tough to come here and be fast right out of the box, but you know, we kind of got the car closer and I also uh, got closer where I needed to be at the same time. You had a fast car at Loudoun, uh, what, what happened there? Was it something mechanical? Yeah, uh, we had that problem earlier this year with the uh, transmission broke. We about fifth lap in. When you, what's the lap around this place? It seems like there's a few places here that you can make up a lot of time or lose a lot of time. Yeah, I think the big, uh, big time changers, the place where I feel like you can lose a lot of game a lot is the chicane down here and then uh, coming down that down uh, with that long straightaway, you gotta carry a lot of momentum through there. Yeah. So you're fast, so you're fast down the straightaway. That's that's where a lot of the passes are gonna be made too. Is down the front straightaway. I don't see it. I don't see where else you can pass through. I had a couple guys claim in testing they went full throttle through that uh, downhill onto the front shoe. Can you actually get full throttle on new tires? Or stay full throttle? I, I'm, I'm close to it, but I usually back her down the, to three quarter throttle just to get the car to settle down a little bit, get the car to set. When you look at the upcoming races, do you, what do you think you, is your best chance at, uh, at getting a win or a top five in the next handful of shows? I think we got a good chance to finish the top five today. Um, coming up here, I would say, uh, now really, in that not we have a fair chance because I, mean, I don't think uh, the tour has been in a while. So we're usually good at going tracks and getting the seven drug goes within a couple of practices. And then uh, we got, Wyoming County coming up next, next weekend. Uh, we won there last time we were there, so hopefully we'll keep that success or come close to it. You won the uh, most recent modified tour race that they ran up at Spencer, and since then they uh, repaved that track. Have you had the chance to run it since they repaved it? Yeah, we re, we re ran there, and uh, we didn't have good luck at all. It was just a totally different place. Uh, it had, it had less grip before, now, now it has even less grip. The uh, track is, isn't really broken in yet, it's still a little free. It also didn't help that we had a tire when I went out 15 laps in. Like I, it was going out so slow that we really didn't know it was flat until the end of the race. We just thought it was a bad thing. That sounds kind of strange. Have you ever had a track where it's been repaved and, it, and it's done that before? Usually they, I would think they would gain grip when they get repaved. Yeah, it will gain grip. Uh, actually, it's just, it's just the track needs to be broken a little bit. Once it, once it gets the glaze off of the new track, then then it'll be good. Because what they, they don't really have anything that, that runs there weekly that that would break the track in to where it needs to be. And they run uh, like street size and sports and stuff all they run. There you got real hard tires. When you look at the tour and running places like Bristol and New Hampshire and, and Lime Rock, tracks that added expenses to the tour compared to, say, a Thompson or Stafford that you run fairly often, uh, where do you think the tour should go next? Should they, they add a second date here to help offset the road course costs, or where do you think they should go next year? It's hard to tell. I don't think they should uh, add any more. 
I just don't think this is this is where where we want to. I don't think we want to add a couple of races here here, but you know, one race here is fine. I mean, I'm gonna go add something to the schedule. I just don't think we want to add a couple of, a couple of road course races. I think we should be on a few races elsewhere. I believe they mentioned around lap 15 or 20 they're going to do a mandatory fuel stop. Um, what do, what are you looking at for a strategy in this race? Track position seems like it's going to be important with not a lot of passing opportunities. Yeah, uh, really we're starting up front, so I mean, uh, that mandatory pit stop just be pretty much where we were, where we start, and uh, adjust from there, and hopefully we'll, then we'll go after it.